don't forget to like and subscribe to Jolie Knotts Crochet. Hit share. Go ahead and share with your friends. Or you can hit that little bell to get notifications when new patterns release. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jolie Knotts Crochet. I'm Crystal and today we are going to be making this really cool, real looking spider web. Um, I've made a couple of these, smaller sizes, larger sizes. I'm gonna teach you the general idea of it so that you can grow it to the sizes that you want, um, whether you leave it to approximately this size or a bigger size like the one that you are seeing right now. That one was really awesome. I made that one last year. The yarn that we're using today is just a regular worsted weight yarn. I'm using a five and a half millimeter hook and we're just gonna be working in rounds. All right, so to get started, we're gonna take a slip knot. We are going to chain four. Slip stitch to the first chain to create a ring. All right, so now we are going to chain four. This chain four is gonna count as our first double treble crochet, okay? And then we're gonna chain three. We're gonna have a chain three space between our double trebles. So to do our first double treble, we are going to wrap the yarn around our hook three times, working into your ring that you created. You are going to pull up a loop and take off two loops at a time. And now you're going to chain three and do the same thing. Wrap your yarn three times, go into the ring, and take off two loops at a time. Chain three. Wrap three times and continue. We're gonna have three chains in between all of our double trebles. Okay, so we have 10 double trebles separated by chain threes. We're gonna count up four chains on our hook and slip stitch to join. And this is what the beginning of your spider web should look like. For round two, we're going to chain six. Go ahead and put a stitch marker into that last chain, just to help to make things a little bit easier for counting later on. Now we're going to chain five. Here in this round, we did double trebles. Now in round two, we're gonna do triple trebles. So what we're doing is we're wrapping our yarn four times and taking off two loops at a time. Chain five, wrap your yarn four times Go into your next stitch. We're skipping all of our chain spaces. Chain five. Wrap your yarn four times. Go ahead and complete that all the way around. And I'll meet you back at the beginning of the next round. Okay, so here we are at the end of round two, and we are going to slip, and we're gonna slip stitch where our stitch marker was. And this is what our work should look like. Now for this next round, we are going to chain six again. Go ahead and put your stitch marker And now in between, we're gonna chain eight. We're gonna wrap our hook four times still, so we're still doing that triple treble. 
working into each stitch, we will pull off two loops at a time. Chain eight. Wrapping our hook four times. Going into the next stitch. Okay, so that is the end of your round three. You're going to go ahead and slip stitch to your stitch marker chain. That would be your sixth chain up. We're going to remove our stitch marker and we're going to chain six more. Go ahead and put your stitch marker back into your sixth stitch. And now we're going to chain eight. We're also going to do triple trebles in this row. So you're going to wrap your hook four times and we're gonna work that triple treble into the same starting stitch. Chain eight. And working into the next stitch over here, we're gonna go ahead and wrap your yarn and work that stitch. So you should have two in this one, one stitch in this one, and now in this one we're going to work two. Separated by chains of eight. Your round four should be looking like this. You've got two stitches, one stitch, two stitches, one stitch. So here you're gonna increase two stitches, work that all the way around, and I'll meet you back at the beginning. Okay, so here we are at the end of our fourth round. We've slip stitched. And for this round, we're gonna chain seven. Go ahead and place your stitch marker back in. And in between our stitches, we are gonna chain 11. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Now working our stitches, we're gonna wrap our hook five times. and working one into each stitch, one of these really long stitches into each one with 11 chains in between. Eleven, wrapping our hook five times and into our next stitch. We're going to remove two loops at a time. And this is now what your work should look like here. All right, so go ahead and repeat that and I will meet you back. All right, here we are, we've completed round five. Getting started on round six, we are going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Move your stitch marker up. And 
And now in between these stitches, we're gonna put 14 chains. So if you're noticing what the pattern is now, we're chaining, we're making our height one higher and then our stitch counts three wider. So our eight, we're chaining 14, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now we are going to wrap our hook six times. Keep your finger on there so it doesn't unravel and untwist. And we're going to remove two loops at a time. Just like that. So it should look like this. Now you're going to do the same thing. Chain 14. Your long stitch is wrapping your hook six times, chaining 14, six times and into the stitch, and I will meet you back at the beginning of the next round. All right, here we are at the end of round six. As you can see, our rows are growing approximately two inches all the way around per row, so about four inches in diameter. The size of this, after our round six is about 24 inches. The diameter is about 24 inches. So I'm gonna go, let's go another row too and see how we like it. For round seven, we are going to chain nine. Eight, nine, move our stitch marker up. And now in between, we are going to chain 17. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wrap your hook seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Keep your finger there so it can be nice and secure. Work into your next stitch and take off two loops at a time. And that's what we should look like now. Chain 17. Wrap your hook seven times. Working into your next stitch. Take off two loops at a time. Chain 17. So go ahead and continue that and I'll meet you back at the beginning. All right, here we are at the end of round seven. I'm gonna do one more round uh, let's see the size of this spider web so far. 17 times two, that's about 35, 36 inches. I'm gonna go one more round so we can make this a eight round, four foot web-ish. I don't know how long it'll be, but it'll be over three feet in diameter. So getting started on round eight, we're going to chain 10. Oops, 
and 10. Move your stitch marker up. This time we're going to have 20 chains in between our long stitches. Now, working into our next stitch, we're going to wrap our hook eight times. Make sure to keep your finger on there nice and tight. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're taking off two loops at a time, ten times. That's why we chain a height of ten. Now we're chaining twenty in between, and you're going to repeat that all the way around. I'm going to show you how to put our straps on, our ties. We're going to connect ties, not to the end of all of them, but to the end of some of them. And then that way you have stuff to tie them to as an outdoor decoration. All right, go ahead and finish that up and I will meet you back here to put the ties on. Okay, so here we are. We have just completed round eight. That's going to be my stopping point. Our diameter is four feet. So I think that's pretty good for uh, my outdoor decoration. Now for the ties, the ties can really be any length. Um, if you have something that is far that you're gonna tie your, your spider web to, then you want your ties to be a little bit longer. Um, so I'm gonna make mine pretty medium and I'm gonna chain 50. So chaining 50 right from here. All right, so I've just chained 50 and it's about 20 inches long. Um, I'm actually gonna go a little bit longer because I think I'm gonna need to reach farther than 20 inches. So let's go 20 more. All right, so now I've got 70. I'm just gonna snip the end of that and pull it tight. And here's where I started. Now we have 15 long stitches. So evenly spread out, um, with five ties, I can put one tie in every three stitches. So one, two, three. They, that set's got one, and now I'm gonna put one here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a slip knot. I think it would be really silly to need to weave in ends on a spider web. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna join it all together work it like one piece of yarn, okay? And then go ahead and chain your 50, your 70, your 100, however length you need for your ties. So you should have a tie, one tie at the beginning, skipping two stitches, Let's see it better like this, one tie at the beginning, skipping two stitches, putting another tie in your fourth, skipping two stitches, and now we're going to add another tie here. So go ahead and add your ties. You should have five ties all the way around and I will meet you back to show you some photos. 
of what we've come up with and how we've hung it out into and how we've hung it up into our yard. Okay, so we've just got to get creative with our spider web when we're tying it up and putting the ties on it. And that's just like a spider's going to do. None of it's ever going to look perfect. Also, depending on where you put it. So here I got creative there and I tied it up to a zip tie. Tied it up here to the top, one of the bars. And another bar over there from um, the overhead awning. And then I put a zip tie here and pulled all that so it's nice and tight together. And then I tied them to the bottom here. So you're just gonna get creative with what you're doing. Get creative like a spider. It's gonna look different in every section or any place you put it in. All right, everybody, take a look at how these turned out. Four feet in diameter. You can pull the, the ties to any way that you like so that they fit. You can make the ties longer if you need to, extend them, shorten them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this spider web tutorial. Go ahead and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what other kind of tutorials you'd like to see. And I will see you next time.